Hi, I'm Jason from Autopot. I'm now going to show you how to set up the Easy to Grow kit. First of all, I'll take it out of the newly designed box. Comes with a tank lid. 47 litre tank with a hole, a 12 millimetre hole at the bottom where the grommet's going to be inserted and two eight and a half litre pots, a tray and a lid and all the connections, aqua valve and fittings and I'll show you how to set it up next. The accessories that are supplied with the Easy to Grow kit are as follows. One and a half meters of nine millimeter pipe. You can always tell if it's um, authentic pipe because Autopot has the um, URL um, engraved on the side of the pipe. Two root control, square root control socks that go on the outside bottom of the pots. Two Marix discs that go inside the pot to stop the substrate or media or soil falling out. One nine millimeter top hat grommet. One nine millimeter inline tap. One nine millimeter golf filter. And finally, your aqua valve five. I'll show you how to set up the system next. I'm now gonna show you how to insert the nine mil top hat grommet into the hole at the bottom of the tank. So push it all the way in from the outside in. Then take your nine millimeter pipe, wet the end of it if it's soft so it hardens it up, or put a smidge of washing up uh, detergent on the end to help it slide through. I push the pipe so that it's around an inch or two inside the tank. And then next I'll get the golf filter, which can be unclipped and cleaned when necessary. And that simply goes inside the pipe that's inside the tank, like so. And then what I'll do, I'll pull the pipe back through and that'll lock the gold filter inside the grommet, creating a watertight seal, like so. Then I'll take a pair of scissors. I'll cut probably around five, six inches after the tank so I can insert my nine mil inline tap. Always have the tap in the off position and you can see by the droplet it's across the pipe, which means it's in the off position. If I turn it either that way or that way, it's in the on position. So for the perk, I'll just turn it in the off position for the minute and then press to lock into place. And that's how to set up the pipe work connecting to your tank. So now I'm going to set up the aqua valve and the pots. So first thing, I take the end of the nine millimeter pipe and connect it to the aqua valve. When you first get the aqua valve, ensure that you have a silicon in the top float, making a parallel seal on the hole below, and a silicon in the bottom float that cuts off the incoming water. So first of all, I'll remove the collar. I'll thread the collar over the end of the nine millimeter pipe. And then I'll connect the pipe to the aqua valve nozzle. And then I'll push the collar back onto the aqua valve. And when you feel it grip, stop. Don't over tighten that section there, it's not necessary. Then I'm going to find the half moon at the bottom of the aqua valve and the T section in the tray. I then take the aqua valve, locate the half moon over the T and push firmly on the grey body only down onto the T section. Then I take the pipe at the front end 
and push that into the channel where the pipe enters the tray. So that aqua valve is now connected to the tray. The next thing I'll do is take my pots and I'll place the square root control sock over the bottom of the pot. This is to uh, prevent roots and leaving the pot and getting tangled into the tray. So that's one root control, square root control sock on the base of the first pot. I'll now put the second one on. Slide all the way up the side of the pot and they'll grip. And that's the second root control sock on the base of the pot. Put that in the pot and then I have two thin black Marix discs. I literally drop each one in the pot and that stops soil from falling out. Then place my lid over the top of the aqua valve and the system is now set up. I'll now show you how to use your system once you've uh, set it up and it's all, all um, ready to be filled up the reservoir. Once you've set your easy to grow system up, it's very easy, it's just it's a traditional way of potting up plants. So what you can do, you can put gravel, washed gravel at the bottom, but I will also show you some additional accessories that you can use um, after this section of the video. So fill your plant up with the correct type of media or substrate or soil. Make sure it's nice and open. Have a look at the Autopot website or brochure and it gives you an indication of the type of blends of soil that we recommend. I recommend a very open, free draining, air attentive substrate. So if you think of one end of the spectrum, peat, and the other end of the spectrum, perlite, obviously if you blend those two together, you get a much more open substrate. So fill up your pot, put a nicely established plant into the pot, and then water the plant away from the tray, and water it through and allow it to drain for around half an hour. Repeat that with the other pot and then place in the tray. It's not necessary now to turn on the system straight away because there's lots of moisture in that eight and a half liters of soil. So in the early days, two to three weeks, maybe even four weeks, depending on the weather outside in your greenhouse, you can turn the tap on for an hour and then turn it off for three, four days. Feel the weight of the pot. If there's plenty of weight in the pot in the early stages, then don't turn the system on make the root system work for the moisture and the feed that's probably already in the soil or the compost and let the plant develop naturally. Don't overwater it, it's not necessary. Once you're happy that the plants develop properly, then you can turn the tap on continually. I'll next show you, um, discuss about how to fill up the tank. It's a 47 litre reservoir. Fill it up with water and you can use the easy to grow liquid fertilizer or you can use the, um, the source fertilizer. Um, fill it all the way up, right amount of feed. You can pH stabilize if you want to. And I was always recommend that you, can, that you should always raise the tank to at least six inches off the floor to, to ensure that the gravity fall always gets to the aqua valve. When the tank gets to around a third full, fill it back up again. So don't let the tank get too low and always turn the tap off when you're filling up the, up the tank because when you fill the tank up, you'll agitate any salt drop out that rests in the bottom of the tank and you could pull it through the pipes. So turn off the tap, fill up your reservoir, put the new fertilizer in there, pH stabilize if necessary, mix it up and then allow the tank to settle for around half an hour, then turn the tap on. Once you've purchased your easy to grow system, um, we advise that you can, from this size tank only, add another two more modules or a total of six pots. You can lay them out this way and they would just all be connected via pipe work and uh, T connections that you would get with the easy to grow extension kits. You can lay them out in this configuration. You can also lay them out end on end like so depending on the layout for your greenhouse. So it really is entirely up to the grower, but a maximum of six plants using this 47 litre tank. If you want to have more modules, then you need to increase the size of your tank 
and consider using host pipe size pipe as the main feed from your reservoir and reducing down to the nine mil pipe at each module. So I'm just gonna show you some optional extras that you can have with your easy to grow. So the first one is the air base, the air base square, and it comes with a detachable circular insert. What this is designed for is to avoid the use of either clay pebbles, which are very generally very alkaline, and need to be pre-treated before use. Um, ideally, if you are using clay pebbles, pre-soak them in a solution of around 5.5, 5, 5, 5.0 to 5.5, with a quarter strength of feed solution for at least 48 hours. Tip off the solution, don't wash them off, and then put them in the tray. Alternatively, if you don't want to do this, you can buy yourself an air base, which is simply dropped in the base of the pot. It's 30 millimeters deep. You put a little bit of soil in there, shake the soil so it drops down the holes. There's no need to press the holes. And then that acts as a, um, a sort of flood drain for the old crocs as we use as we grew up as uh, when we were younger the other option to use the air base is with the air, air dome so you will take out the center take your air dome thread the air dome from under the underneath and you'll see there's a little channel for the pipe work to go there and simply drop your air base in the tray or your air base and your air dome in the base of the tray and there you have an additional extra for that. What that air dome will do will increase growth rate so if you are using the air dome with the air base or the air dome by itself make sure that you use a nice free draining substrate above. Don't use 100% peat or 100% cocoa because all that will happen the air won't be able to perforate up through the media it'll get stuck in the bottom of the pot and you'll end up getting bubbles leaving the pot and bubbling around the aqua valve. So always have a very open substrate such as 50% soil, 50% perlite or 50% soil and 50% um, clay pebbles but just a very nice open substrate. The other option or additional extra is the 8.5 litre pot divider. So it comes with a base that's similar to the air base and two walls. So the wall slides from left to right or right to left, doesn't really matter. You slide that like so, place the additional wall down there, you've now got yourself a divider. That simply drops in the pot and now you've subdivided that eight and a half litre pot into four. What you can do is you can take a cutting, put your cutting in there, water it through outside the pot as I've previously explained, and then let the cuttings grow and then once they've established you can then lift the um, pot divider up take that cell out and then put it in your final pot another option is to use a propagation propagation dome you can place it over the pot this also this also fits the 15 litre pot put the plants in there either in your pot divider or once you put a single plant in there you can put this over there, it keeps the microenvironment around the plant, you haven't got intense sunshine or um, hot lights blaring above an exposed plant. You keep the microenvironment around there, you can always just lightly dampen the surface of the soil just to keep the microenvironment and the moisture rising up into the plant because you, when you've got a small plant you want to keep a high relative humidity. As the plant develops you can gradually open this vent on the lid. Once it's fully open, the plant's developed and filled this propagation dome, you can take the dome off. The final other options, you can also use the easy to grow trays with 15 litre pots. So it's the same footprint. So I believe on the online shop, they're called um, uh, easy to grow large. So if you want to grow um, bigger plants, with bigger pots then you have the option to be able to do so. So those are the additional accessories that are available with the easy to grow. Right, the easy to grow kit we recommend uh, two types of fertilizer to be used with all auto pot products. The first one is the easy to grow liquid feed. We'd, it's available, it's a single part fertilizer, it's suitable for all plants. Um, it comes in 
350 ml bottles, one litre bottle, five litre bottles and 20 litre bottles and that's a single part feed. And then for the more advanced growers who want to use a combination of various feeds and additives, we have the source fertiliser which consists of an A and a B grow, an A and a B flower, a boost stimulator, an elements CalMag stimulator, a root stimulator and a PK stimulator. They are pharmaceutical grade fertilisers, very concentrated, great value for money and work perfectly um, with the all Autopot systems. So if you are using Autopot, we recommend either using one of the two feeds, but lots of feeds work with Autopot, but we do recommend these feeds when using Autopot.